Derivative limit x tending to 2, and you have 2x minus 7. Now, when you have a question like this, you use substitution methods to do it. So, all you simply have to do is x is tending to 2, you plug 2 into x. So, when you do it, you're going to have 2 in bracket 2 minus 7. So, when you simplify it further, you're going to have 4 minus 7, which will give you what? Negative 3. So that will be the answer. Another example that involves substitution method. Let's say you are given a question of this x limit extending to 0, and you have the values to be 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, all in brackets. No, put this one in bracket. Okay, so very, very simple. All you have to do is x is, is turning to 0, so you plug 0 into this variable x. So when you do it, you have 3 in bracket 0 squared plus 3 in bracket 0 plus 1. So when you simplify further, you're going to have everything here. I give you so, so everything here answer will be 1. So it's as simple as that. 